today, Britta is here with her TIB hat on, um, talking about her experiences leading the, the TIB consortium. So just wanted to say that before Britta's presentation, but yeah, Britta, over to you. Well, thank you, Helena. I was going to say the same thing. It, it's great to see so many familiar faces and of my colleagues here in Germany as well. Uh, we always cooperated uh, all these these years together, and uh, that's also one slide where I will cover that. And today I actually am here with my 20% uh, efforts uh, for leading the um, PID and metadata services at TIB and presenting here the work that Nelly is actually doing. Nelly is on the call today, but she's only coming back for one day from vacation and then going back to vacation. So she, you know, I was happy to present for her today, but she helped preparing the slide deck. And Nelly, please uh, chime in uh, if you feel that I'm forgetting some major points here. Um, yes, so I'm, I'm focusing on the work we're doing as the consortium lead uh, in the TIB DOI consortium. And before I start talking about our work as the, um, as the consortium lead, I would like to show you a complete picture of the PID and metadata services. We started off with the DOI service actually in 2005. And then eventually as there are more and more PID services became available by PID providers, um, we extended our, our services. So we have this main, um, these main two uh, focus points, PID services, and on the top here, you see the uh, DUI consortium. Then we're also leading the German ORCID consortium. Um, we built a PID information platform, um, and we have uh, some projects which enhance our services. You may be familiar with uh, Confident, assigning DUIs for conferences, and ORCID DE, which is also you know, data site and uh, TIB and some other organizations um, um, enhancing the ORCID implementation in Germany. Um, and we also have a community focus. So we uh, basically are involved in several you know, German national infrastructure consortia. And uh, we are uh, presented uh, or representing um, our services in EOSC. And uh, we are also present in RDA. The metadata services, as you know, you know, DUIs and the other PIDs come with a set of metadata, which are you know, crucial for their benefits, basically, <clears throat> and value. So we have integration services for our own TIB services, like the Open um, Research Knowledge Graph and all of the other services are implementing PIDs and their metadata. We uh, have done a, a DUI metadata completeness analysis and have conducted a workshop based on that. Um, and then we have metadata projects as well. EasyDAP is one that assesses the quality of metadata in the atmospheric uh, data um, area. <clears throat> and Optimator, that is uh, building uh, plugins for adding uh, geolocation and citation information to the DUI metadata in OGS plugins. And then here we are also very involved in the community and the data site metadata working group, the Aurora advisory group, and also in a NFDI for Inc uh, metadata working group. And there are some links here for the uh, projects in case you want to uh, read more. And as I mentioned in the beginning, so in Germany, we have a, you know, a very luxurious um, uh, case that we have five consortia, five DUI consortia. And we originally started with, um, I think, we, well, we had five consortia and they had a subject area of um, focus. So we were, you know, our thinking was, and that still holds true, is that we can provide um, better services by understanding these different communities, uh, helping them with their metadata. Um, and so as you can see here, the four 
uh, consortia, existing consortia, are still continuing this work. And as you just heard from Andres, there's one regional consortium, HBZ, and you already have 20 members I saw in Fabrica. And so there are 11 more to go to reach your, <laughs> your goal. Um, so now uh, the actual focus of my conversation or my talk today. Um, so we started in 2005. We um, started off in January this year with 90 consortium organizations. And we were very happy to say that we have grown to 107 consortium organizations. So we added 17 uh, this year. Uh, there are a total of more than 1.4 million DUIs. And you see that we are registering more DUIs for text publications than data sets. So that is, you know, I think really a good fit for the developments in Germany. So there is this, as I mentioned, the German national uh, data infrastructure that is being built. And I, th I think that we will see lots of more data sets coming in through that. But at this point, many organizations are registering DUIs for text publications. Uh, we have a mailing list with 400 subscribers through which we send newsletters and other information um, about DUIs and data site and services. And uh, our consortium is supported by one full FTE and that's Nelly. <laughs> and yes, so we set up criteria uh, for our membership. So you have to be, of course, a non-profit organization with headquarters in Germany, and your main focus should be natural sciences and engineering. Otherwise, we will direct organizations to the other consortia. And you, you know, and of course, the regional ones go to HBZ. And uh, yeah, we, we have higher education um, research institutions and associations and federal institutes amongst our members. Um, we have an application and onboarding process. So first of all, uh, members are asked or potential members are asked to uh, fill out a profile form. And I will talk a little bit about that in a moment. And then, well, we evaluate it and clarify questions if necessary. Um, then we, we create a test account uh, potentially. Um, then um, we ask them to sign a participation form which is based on the data side consortium agreement and the uh, terms and conditions and the privacy policy of, of data side. Then we conduct a one hour uh, onboarding webinar with these new members where we discuss the DOI registration policy, um, help them you know, get started, give them all the best practice and support information they need. And we also provide first DOI registration support if they like, and, uh, and you know, um, help them to improve the metadata if applicable. This organization profile form basically asks them for all you know, organization information, including their repository software, because we can you know, <clears throat> potentially help them better if we know which repository software they're using. Uh, and then we ask them, several other questions, how many DUIs they plan to register, if they have registered DUIs through other um, organizations before, um, and for which object types they're registering DUIs and uh, subject areas as well. Our services are um, composed of the following elements. So, um, we provide first level service uh, in German language. They, they could call us or they write emails. Um, so we help them with all their accounts set up. Um, we have a German information platform, including um, uh, a German Fabrica handbook, because we have seen that, you know, um, I don't know, Nelly, maybe you can help, but we have lots of members which use Fabrica. Um, I can't say a percentage here. Um, then uh, we have this monthly newsletter and our newsletter goes out after the data site newsletter. So we always translate 
the basically the data site newsletter with all, and include all the links so that they can you know get all the information that data site uh, seems imp uh, sees as important. Uh, we we do user needs analysis, so we always ask um, in our consortium meetings if there are services we they they would love to uh, us to provide and. Uh, and we also have a common functionality in our Fabrica handbook. It's a wiki so that they can. I also saw that HBZ has also a wonderful wiki. Uh, so uh, we ask them for comments uh, um, if, they, if they need better in, uh, explanation for, for services. Uh, we provide metadata consultation and some of these things I already mentioned. Yeah, here you see uh, the link to our wiki and please the German members, please go ahead and reuse. Uh, our uh, German Fabrica handbook. And um, Nelly has done a wonderful job here with easy navigation. She created lots of GIFs without sound so you can very easily follow the instructions. It's based on the Fabrica guide in, in, in the support pages of DataSite. And there is also a blog and a little quiz to test your metadata knowledge, et cetera. Um, yeah, thank you for your attention. I hope I am still in time. <laughs>